Do you know the difference between Lutrador and Tyvek and how to use them with heat and distress them? Do you know how to paint them so you get the best effects with the heat and you don't cause a barrier? How are you with painted Bondaweb? Have you found it successful? In case we haven't met before, I'm Kim Titichai. I'm the author of four books commissioned by Batsford, Hot Textiles, Experimental Textiles, Layered Textiles and Reclaimed Textiles. Lots of textiles and lots of experimental processes. I'll be showing you how to paint the products, how to heat the products, how to work safely if you need any breathing apparatus. All of the time you will always need a well-ventilated room just to keep you awake if the excitement doesn't. I can give you lots of little hints and tips as we go along with the videos. So if you fancy learning what's inside my head, you might like to sign up for my video library. The new video library will be accessible by an annual subscription on my website. There will also be a private group for each workshop so you can chat to other people in the group, share your photographs and ideas if you want to. There'll also be a live Zoom meeting for the Northern and then the Southern Hemisphere. So there'll be two Zoom meetings to catch up a month so you can ask questions, chat to others, hold things up in front of the camera and generally show off. Here are some samples that I'd like to share with you that will give you an idea of what we'll be covering in the workshops. As you would expect from me, I will be showing you how to use painted Bondaweb, how to foil it, how to use gilding flake. I'll also talk a little bit about stitch and how I use it and the different surfaces that you can iron onto. You can iron onto wood as well as fabric and create some really nice little boxes. You can add paper, skeleton leaves. Um, I will be showing you everything I know about working with painted Bondaweb. I'll also show you how to work with heat treated polyesters and how to work with those with painted Bondaweb as well. Bondaweb or Vlisafix or Wonder Under, wherever you are in the world, it's called something different. It's the most wonderful product. Um, you can paint onto it. You can iron things onto it. It really is very, very versatile. So I'll be giving you a, an up-to-date workshop on how to use Bondaweb. I'll also be showing you how to work with Tyvek, which is one of my favourite products to work with because it heat distresses so well. You get all kinds of beautiful effects. You can stitch layers together. You can create all kinds of pebbly effects. You can make wonderful beads out of it. And you can make little vessels and bowls out of it when you start to work with other synthetics. Here's a little pink one here. So I particularly love 3D. Any of you that have worked with you with me will know that I love to work in 3D. You can see some of my very random herringbone stitch just helping everything stay together. So Tyvek will be one of the workshops. A new workshop for me is going to be working with the heavier iron-on interfacings, working with transfer foils and gilding flake and all manner of shiny things, and then working with heat tools, particularly a soldering iron, to create collars and cuffs that you might want to gad about with. They're lightweight and you can create some beautiful effects. This is a fun little necklace that I've just started working on for the video. So we'll be working with the heavier interfacings. Something I do a lot of work with, although I'm not particularly well known for it, is working with Solufix and Solufleece. As an ambassador for Vliceline, I work with most of their products and I test the products to see how far you can go with them. The Solufix is a great product because you can put it through your inkjet printer. Um, which means you can print off a photograph and then you can do your thread painting. It's not quite finished yet with the stitching. I've got about another two or three hours to go yet. I'll wash away the water soluble and we'll be left with a lovely grid of stitches, hopefully. So Soluflix can go through the inkjet printer and then the Solufleece, which you may be familiar with or not, is great for making little vessels, little bowls. The product that the Solufleece is made from is a super product. It washes away beautifully but also if you leave a little bit in then you can make three-dimensional forms you can make your lace um have a really good time with it you can use all kinds of threads and of course i use um sweet papers in mine as well one of my most popular workshops is a new starting point using recycled papers and maps working with painted bonder web and unpainted bonder web um, and then stitching in to them using them as backgrounds for stitch they're really great fun. Once you started to build up 
your papers and your painted bond web. You can lay all the surfaces onto fabric if you want to, whatever you like stitching into really, or not stitching into. In the beautiful boxes and book covers video, I'll be showing you how to work with the heavier interfacings, particularly the iron-on interfacings, to make little boxes that you can use um, as gift boxes for weddings, baby showers, Christmas presents, whatever you fancy. Um, and also how to make book covers, the nice slip covers you can just pop a book into that make it nice and easy. These interfacings are really so useful. Aren't these beads beautiful? Like many of us, I collect vintage beads, broken necklaces, bracelets, bangles, chains. I love working with vintage products. I've never created a, a workshop with this before because it's something that I just do personally. But I thought maybe now is the time to share my process with you. So this will be part of the Baubles, Bangles and Beads workshop. As you can see, it's got a lovely irregular edge. Here's a little one with pearls. And also I'll show you how I make my bangles, my little bracelets, using all the different vintage beads. So that'll be part of the baubles, bangles and beads workshop. So do you fancy learning about all my processes and techniques? Do you fancy coming on a, a playful journey with me? All the information and the descriptions of the workshops are on my website. If you have any questions, you can always email me. So if you fancy learning what's inside my head, and it can be very scary, you might like to sign up for my video library.